Hello everyone, welcome to another video of PSE programming using Cadesis. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can write a very simple program using sequential function chart in order to control the traffic lights in an intersection. We have east to west and north to east direction and each direction has a set of traffic lights which are green, yellow and red and you can see the amount of the time in which each traffic light will be turned on and also the sequence. Traffic light control is a kind of typical example for PSE programming. I myself around six years ago have created a video using the SFC uh, again over there but you can see as you can see here and you can refer to it later I was using several uh, steps with a branch here so three steps for one direction, three steps for another direction. And in each one, I was using the, the actions in order to turn on or turn off a, a given pilot light. On the other hand, here I'm using a kind of much simpler program using a single step and several actions associated with that step. So in this direction, you, you see that we have the green light turned on and the red light is on, on in the other direction. And then yellow is on, red is on here, and we have switched from red to the green in the other direction. Now yellow is on and red, and you can see it, it works in that way. You can also have a look here at the code that I have. This is the main part of the code using SFC sequential function chart. And you can see that basically I'm using a single step. This single step is kind of all the time active. We enter into it after initialization and we go out of it after 20 seconds. And that 20 seconds is the total amount of time here that we have for green, yellow and red light in each direction. After 20 seconds, we go out of this step to the init and then we immediately enter into the step again. So a step is kind of all the time active, but every 20 seconds we go out of it. It becomes inactive and then active again. You can see a set of actions here. These are the IEC actions. For each one, we have the qualifier and the action. As for the actions, I'm using green 01, red 01, red 02, yellow 02, and one action which is called as middle. So 01 and 02 here refer to the different directions. And middle is a specific action they ha that I have created. And for each one, as I mentioned, we have the action qualifiers. I have explained the action qualifiers in another video. You can have a look there, but here I'm using the L, D and N qualifiers. So now let me explain you how we can add these IEC actions, how we can set the action qualifiers and also explain a little bit about the middle action. In order to add an IEC action, you need to select that step, right click on it and then choose one of these insert action association it will add one on the top so when we do so two fields will be available one is for the action qualifier and the other one is for the action itself as i mentioned i'm using green 01 red 01 to refer to the pilot lights in one direction and red 02 yellow 02 to refer to the pilot lights in the other direction green 01 will be turned on for eight seconds after we enter into the step and then it will go off. Then red 01 will turn on 11 seconds after we enter, enter into the step and then it will turn off once we go out of the step. Similarly for, for red 02 and yellow 02, but I also have this action which is called middle. It's middle is not a Boolean variable in this case, but it's, a, it's an action that I have added to my system in this way. So right clicking on the traffic lights SFC program, selecting add object and then action. I have created uh, this middle action. I have given the name to it. And as for the programming language, I have selected ST. Let's see what's inside that action. So you can see that it's also simple. Yellow 01 will be true if green 01 and red 01 are false. Once green is on, yellow should be off. Once red is on, yellow should be off. And only once green and red both are off, yellow should be on. On the other hand, for the north-south direction, it's the same similar thing happens for the green light. It will be on once the red and the yellow lights are off. That's what we have here as well. That's for the one direction, for the other direction, green 02, 
will be on if yellow 0 2 and red 0 2 both are off so you can see that this action is also quite simple and the actions that we had here they are also quite simple in this way we can implement the traffic light control system using a single step uh, with the sfc that's all for this video i hope you have enjoyed it thank you for watching and see you in another video later bye for now